Okay, so welcome back to my first ever YouTube video in a while. I think I uploaded my last video in October, I think, 2022. And now it's, what is it, nine months later or so. Um, it's been a while and a lot of things have happened. Uh, the reason I stopped uploading was because I got an injury in my upper back slash lat slash trap. I don't really know. I was at a chiropractor who said it was an inflammation, I think. And then I went to another one who said it was something completely different. So I'm not really sure what it was. I think it was an over, um, I think I overworked my trap or back in some kind of way when I trained last winter. Uh, I used to do a lot more reps and sets than I do now. Uh, so I've cut back a little bit on my training and I, got on a lot better results as well so I think it was just an overtraining uh, type of injury uh, which I'm glad that I'm free from now so I'm back to the gym I have been for around four months now uh, or three maybe I've done a lot of outside gym work instead of just going to the gym uh, now during the summer because I think it's um, just a lot of sweaty men inside <laughs> especially when it's warm outside so I've done a lot of calisthenics movement instead like weighted pull-ups outside um, and also just a lot of push-ups pull-ups you name it here where I live we have very good outside gym equipment actually so I haven't really like missed the gym so much now during the summer uh, but now when I was at the gym one week ago for the first time in a couple months I just fell for it again uh, it's not like I stopped loving the gym but you know um, my dedication is still there but my motivation goes up and down but I finally found the motivation again to improve my gym numbers as well my gym lifts the bench press the squat the deadlift um, which I haven't done I haven't done any any I haven't done any of those lifts in maybe one and a half year so it's good to be back. And uh, today we're going to train chest. And maybe hit some triceps or shoulders. I think I'll have to get the workout done in maybe 50 minutes, uh, maybe an hour. Uh, but then I gotta go meet up some friends uh, at our new apartment that me and my wife are renting. So it's going to be a quick workout. And usually I find those to be the best ones when you have to get the work done instead of just chilling around. Um, so yeah, I hope to at least hit a new bench press PR this year. My overall, my all time bench PR is 140 kilos uh, for a one rep max. But then I did like 120 kilos for seven reps, I think, which I won't be able to hit now, but since it was so, uh, since it was such a long time ago, <laughs> I've kind of like restarted my PR count. Um, and last week I hit uh, 110 kilos times five. Very slow and controlled now. Uh, I've learned that I think my muscles grow a lot better if I just control the uh, eccentric part a lot more. I try to keep it at two seconds on the way down then explode up but still use good form instead of just pumping the weight and not really controlling it. Uh, I've seen, at least hypertrophy wise, that I've uh, gained a lot more muscle size. Uh, and I think my strength has gone up as well. So I'll try to continue to do that as much as I can. Uh, and don't cheat on reps just to get a PR. Instead, I want to you know, control the weight and if I'm not that strong today that I can hit the PR, I'm gonna hit it next workout instead. So maybe that's a bit more of a mature um, view on how to train. And uh, I didn't think that way five years ago when I started. But now to prevent injuries and to just try to stay as healthy as possible while putting on size and strength, that's what I found to work best for me. Um, especially as a natural lifter, I feel like if you're 
a shit ton of roids, you can do almost anything and you'll still grow. You can even don't work out and still outgrow me uh, and anyone who's training naturally. So as a natural lifter, I find it best to just try to progress with controlled form, still exploding on the way up and still, I'm not against training hard. I just want to you know, find the optimal way to not get overtrained, still get the most weighed up as possible with good form to prevent injuries. Um, because I'm all for training hard, I'm all for trying to gain strength as fast as possible and build muscle as fast as, as possible, but it's, I think you just have to have a different approach than if you are on roids, because then you can do whatever you want and eat whatever you want, almost. Um, and I'm not saying that people that are on roids just like don't have to do any, anything to get results, they still have to work very hard to get the best results. Um, but I don't think they have to put in as much work to get much more results than natural lifters do. And I'm natty, so I'm trying to find the optimal way as a natural lifter to gain the best results. And I just wanted to speak on as well that I've tried to do YouTube videos before <laughs> where you just try to keep the viewer's attention as much as possible and make quick edits and just, you know, bring up the hype in the videos um, above like the normal hype level I have before I work out. Right now I'm hyped to train, but I'm not like Mr. Beast hype, if you know what I mean. And to me, I just feel like to make YouTube videos with that sort of hype, it creates like a barrier for me to make videos because I don't feel like it's genuine and it doesn't feel natural. So. Moving on and forward, I will just be myself like this. This is how I talk, this is who I am. And I just want to build a community for people who want to improve themselves, become better in the gym and outside the gym, and, you know, just talk more. Um, instead of just trying to fit as much information and things that happen in the shortest amount of time possible in a YouTube video. I'm not looking to make like five minute YouTube videos that are completely spammed with edits and uh, animations and big uh, like subtitles all over the place and uh, giving away $20,000 in a video. I might do that, but you know, the purpose is not to just keep your attention as much as possible to get views, but rather, I don't know. I just want you to be able to like turn on this video when you eat your dinner at peace, just watching another gym bro trying to hit PRs. Just a soft YouTube channel for uh, gym content. So um, stick around if you want to watch that type of content. In this format it will be much easier for me to produce more daily content and yeah, just be consistent, which I think is the optimal way in all aspects of life. So now we're at the gym. Let's get a workout. Okay, so that was 105 times 7. And last workout, I think I hit 110 times 5. So it's a small PR. Uh, I think I'm also a bit sleep deprived from this night. It was the first night in our apartment and we didn't have curtains. So it was extremely light in the morning. And I couldn't sleep as well. So I think I slept three hours or four hours maybe. So I'm happy. And my training philosophy right now is to just do one heavy set uh, and then a backup set with more reps and lighter weight. So this was my heavy set for this workout. Now I'll maybe drop it down to maybe 95 kilos um, and try to go for 
10, 12 reps or so. Uh, and then maybe one more heavy passing movement like a Smith press or a chest press. Uh, maybe weighted dips, we'll see. Um, and then end it with a fly or some kind of squeezing exercise. This will drop set. Okay, that was an interesting set. So we did 100 kg times eight and a half to fail, and then a drop set 60 kilos times 12, I think. Now you know how to do if you fail at the bench. Just stand up. I think I also have to. I think you also have to get more accustomed to this bench. Um, I'm used to a powerlifting bench, the Aleco benches, and this one is from Hammer Strength, so, so it's new heights, and the bench is more slippery, and the bar is also slippery, so I used these ones to get better grip, uh, since you can't use chalk at this soon, it kind of sucks, uh, but it works. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm tired after that set. Um, still went to fail, which is where I find the most gains for me. Um, I tried to keep reps in the tank, but firstly it doesn't feel like a good workout if I don't take myself to the max. And I also see a lot more hypertrophy gains if I just take it to fail. So that's it for the bench. And now I'll move on to another pressing exercise. I also want to be open and transparent with that I, in reality, I hate speaking English. Uh, and I think it's rooted back to my English lessons at school where I just thought that everyone spoke better English than me. Um, and especially here in public, I'm not, comfor I'm not comfortable doing this. Um, but I just thought that I couldn't let my insecurity just stop me from doing what I want to do. And this is what I want to do. Um, and the reason I just want to make these chill YouTube videos where I talk instead of, you know, making these over-edited YouTube videos is because I look back at what I used to enjoy watching when I was 14, 15. Um, I remember watching Minecraft videos on YouTube and they were just cozy, you know. The guy was just talking, building a house and everything was chill. Uh, but now in 2023, everything has to be like super chopped up, edited no room for pauses or space in the videos. And I just feel like YouTube and YouTubers in general have lost their um, genuinity, genuinity, <laughs> if that's a word. Um, I don't 
like see this genuine content anymore. And I just want to be myself and talk more and like build relationships with you. Um, yeah, just make a community for, for gym content. Um, yeah, but now we're going to a Incline Smith bench. Uh, it's my second press movement. And I'm just trying to find a good angle on this. So I hit the upper chest more, uh, trying to squeeze at the top and just go heavy. So this is the first heavy working set and then I'll do a drop set again um, or a backup set and maybe do a drop set. Let's go. That's a good last rep. Feels good. All right, now I do it extremely high up on the chest uh, because that's where I feel the most stretch on the chest. Um, so yeah, it differs from workout to workout, but this workout I'm trying to hit as high up as possible. Feels good. Now I think I'll move down to maybe 70 kilos. This was 80, I think, and do more reps. Um, and maybe a drop set after that. And then I'll have to maybe hit a fly movement fast before I wrap this workout up because I have to be home in maybe 20 minutes or so. So I uh, got to get this done quickly. I'm also not very used to training this late. Now it's, I think it's around eight o'clock and I usually train at maybe 3 p.m. or 2 p.m. after lunch. Because uh, I skip breakfast, so I have breakfast, lunch. And then two to three hours after that, I go to the gym. Um, and then I usually have the pre-workout right before the gym. But now since it's so late, I didn't have caffeine. Um, so I just took, I tried a natural pre-workout today, which is uh, just honey and uh, a pinch of salt. And it feels good. I feel like I have a decent pump. Um, but I don't have that caffeine mind kick, if you know what I mean. But it feels good. It's also nice. In, a kind of way to train this late because you have like a couple meals in before the workout and I usually have just one. Now I have two very big meals from today. We had a family party so I'm full and had a lot of food and I can feel it. I can feel the food working. Um, but it's time for the second set and the last set. Let's train hard. Stay hard. Little drop set at the end. Let's go. That's an ugly ass rest, <laughs> but it works. I also like to squeeze the muscles after a set, just to get a little bit more pump. There we go.
one more drop set. This one's painful, bro. But on this exercise, I try to keep my arms straight at the top to get the most squeeze. And then for me, I feel like it's okay to bend the arms at the bottom because the stretch is like the same, even though your arm is like this. So I bend my arms at the bottom and then go for a straight, straight arms at the top. Also, drink water during your workout. In the first two to three years of my training, I didn't really bring a water bottle to the gym. And I noticed a big difference once I started to drink between each set. Pump is just like blood flow. Blood flow um, becomes better if you're hydrated. So drink more water, you'll get a better pump. <coughs> I love the pain. Love the pain, love the pain. Love the pain. And then squeeze. That's it. Okay, so at least we got a short chest workout in today. Um, like I said, I only had around 40 to 50 minutes to get this workout done. Um, but I really wanted to get this workout done today because in two days or one and a half, it's Sunday evening now and on Tuesday morning at around 5 a.m. or so, um, I'm going to Spain with a lot of friends and I didn't want to train tomorrow because I feel like if I train very hard and then get like three hours of sleep, I feel like I'm just losing gains rather than building the muscle back up again. Maybe it's just a placebo thing, I don't know. Um, but it feels better to get a good night. <laughs> it feels better to get a good night's sleep today um, and then rest tomorrow when I know I'm going to sleep very bad uh, the following night. But it feels good. I had around, um, I got around six sets, six working sets today, which is not optimal. Uh, I usually get around eight minimum uh, for chest and then around four sets for triceps and four sets for shoulders as well. Um, but I only got to do the chest workout today, which is fine. Um, in Spain, I don't think I'll have a gym available. I might just do pull-ups at the beach. Uh, if I find some sort of bar to do pull-ups on um, and then just a bunch of push-ups. Um, I, um, 
don't think that it's optimal for uh, gains uh, in the long run to just do calisthenics movement, uh, very like light bodyweight stuff, uh, because a push-up for me isn't challenging if I don't do like 500 in a day. Um, I think they're good for maintaining muscle, but in the end, I want to, um, yeah, they're good for maintaining at the vacation. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just tired after the gym. Uh, I think you can relate if you train hard. You just get dizzy after a workout. But yeah, it's around, it's after eight o'clock and we're going home now, having some food. Um, I think I have meat prepared from yesterday. Just minced beef. Um, that's my favorite post-workout meal. Just easy protein to get down and it, it tastes very good. Um, and then I might have some candy just for the carbs. Um, I'm a sucker for candy. I know it's not optimal for maintaining a shredded Instagram fitness body. Um, but that's not my goal at the moment. I just want to get strong and um, yeah, get gains. And uh, to me, candy works perfectly well as a carb source after the gym to get some carbs in and uh, replenish the glycogen that I've used. I don't know if the audio is whack when I drive. This car is very loud, um, but I hope it works. But yeah, this is like a very non-prestige video, um, but it's the vibe that I want to catch. I don't want to make these super hype videos where I just scream at you because that's not who I am. I am pretty calm, I think. And I I just don't feel like I could like be another persona just for the YouTube videos because that wouldn't feel good. And it wouldn't be fun to keep making those videos where I have to pretend to be someone and just like talk very loud very fast just to get views and keep your attention. If you find these videos boring, uh, you don't have to watch them. Um, but I'll keep posting for those who want this video format. Because um, I feel like 99.9% .9 of the YouTube videos that are coming out right now are more focused around like, keeping the viewer's attention more than just being chill and providing, you know, nothing like providing value. I don't see myself as like, I provide a lot of value right now. I just want to talk and uh, be genuine with you. So if you like that type of content, um, stay on the channel. But yeah, this is nice. I like to make this kind of content. I hope you enjoy watching it too. Um, I hope you can just like put it on right before you go to sleep. It sounds weird, uh, but you know, like watching a Mr. Beast video right before going to sleep just like gets your adrenaline and everything up through the roof and I just want to have a soft channel, you know, like this, talking, thinking, and I also want to be open about my faith. I'm a Christian and I don't want to make that like the main topic of this video. Um, I just want to be open and hear about what other people think and what other people believe. Um, but I also want to be open about what I believe because um, I feel like that's something that society is uh, like pushing out right now, that you can't say what you believe unless everyone else believes that way, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm a Christian and now you know that. Um, just wanted to make that clear. If you have any questions, you can always ask them in the comments uh, or write to me on Instagram. Or Snapchat, I'll try to answer um, as many questions and DMs as possible. I just like to talk to you guys. I'm getting close to home now, um, but I just wanted to end this video with a quick prayer with you guys. I want to be transparent and open with what I believe, and I believe that God loves everyone, and that Jesus died for your sins, and that he wants a personal relationship with you. Um, even though I've done a lot of stupid things before, no matter how much I do wrong, Jesus loves me anyways. Like with a partner, you can only cheat so many times before they leave you. Uh, but Jesus never leaves you, no matter how many wrong things you do. Um, and that's what I think is like the most important thing in life, that Jesus loves you. And if you believe in him, you're saved. Um, and I want to be open with that. So just a quick prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this day. I pray that everyone who watches this video 
will have an awesome week and I pray that you will be with them and give them your peace and show them how much you love them this week and forward whenever you're watching. Thank you for that you died for our sins and that you want to have a personal relationship with us. Amen. Hope you have an awesome week. See you in the next video.